a very happy day to my dear students i angel singh welcome you all to your online english classes for today i hope you all are fit fine and healthy today children we are going to start with our poem the title of our poem is the rescue sometimes when we try to help someone in distress we end up in trouble and need help read this poem to know how a young boy ended up in trouble while helping someone so it is very basic uh, nature of a human being when we see anybody in trouble we try to help him or her but at times it happens that we ourselves uh, fall in the trap of that same trouble so here is a poem which is related to this the boy climbed up into the tree the tree rocked so did he he was trying to rescue a cat a cushion of a cat from where it sat so here uh, we have a boy and he had climbed up a tree and with the movement of the tree he was also moving and what made him to climb the tree was to rescue a cat the cat was stuck on the upper branches of the tree and was mewing and was in need of help which the boy understood very nicely so in turn to help the cat he himself climbed up the tree and here children the last line a cushion of a cat from where it sat a cushion of a cat here the metaphor is used in which the cat is compared with the cushion next paragraph in a high crutch of branches crutch means support mewing as though to say to him nothing doing whenever he shouted come on come down so up he climbed and the whole town lay at his feet round him the leaves so here him is the cat and when the cat was mewing on the uh, branches and while the boy was talking to her and was asking her to come down it simply mewed and it uh, it uh, started climbing up the tree again and no uh, soon sooner we find that the whole town was laying at her feet it means that she was she climbed up so high that she was even able to see the whole town so here so up he climbed and the whole town lay at his feet round him the leaves so here the leaves of the tree were surrounded with him fluttered like a lady's sleeves again simile is used here because uh, the leaves the fluttering or the movement of the leaves is compared to the fluttering of the uh, sleeves of the ladies and the cat sat and the wind blew so that he would have flown and had he let go at last he was high enough to scoop that fat white cushion or nincom poop so here that fat white cushion is compared to or it refers to the cat and nincom poop means foolish so here while the wind was blowing the leaves of the tree were also blowing and with the same the cat was also the fur of the cat was also flown and here the boy was in very trouble the boy was so scared to call her foolish while he was asking her to get down instead the cat was climbing up the tree so here when the boy lost his patience so he called it nincom poop and here nincom poop means foolish so nincom poop refers to cat and tuck her under his arm and turn to go down but oh he began to learn how high he was how hard it would be having come up with four limbs to go down with three his heart beats knocked as he tried to think he would put the cat in the lower chink so when the boy climbed up the tree to save the cat so climbing up with four limbs was easy but now when he grabbed the cat and he has to come down he is left with only two so now he is scared and his heart beats knocked his heart beats knocked means his heart beats faster and he tried as he tried to think he would put the cat in the lower 
चिंक चिंक मीन्स अ वेरी स्मॉल स्पेस बिटवीन टू थिंग्स तो वो क्या करेंगे उस कैट को लोअर चिंक में रख देंगे एंड देन ही विल ट्राई टू क्लाइंब डाउन द ट्री बट इट वॉज नॉट दैट ईजी एज इट लुकड फर्स्टली ही वॉज वेरी अफ्रेड एंड सेकेंडली ही हैड ओनली टू लिम्स टू लिम्स मीन्स ओनली वन हैंड एंड वन ओनली टू लेग्स बिकॉज ही वॉज कैरिंग द कैट विथ हिज हैंड्स एंड इट इज़ पॉसिबल दैट ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू होल्ड द कैट विद वन हैंड एंड नियर हिज वेस्ट सो हियर चिंक इज यू सो दैट प्लेस इज द लोअर चिंक फॉर द बॉय she appealed to him with a cry of alarm while he was grabbing her so she appealed to him unhone the cat was looking at him with a cry of alarm and put her 18 claws in her arm so he stayed looking down for a minute or so to the good ground so far below when the minute started he saw it was the hard when it ended he couldn't move a yard so there he was struck in the failing light and the wind rising with the coming of the night so now when the boy ma- made plans in his mind now when the actual action plan was to be taken place he was so scared he saw he looked down for a minute and when he moved he tried to move down and while he thought that he might have reached up to the ground but to his surprise he even couldn't move even a yard so there he was struck in the failing light failing light means now it might be the evening time it might be the dusk time so the failing light means raat ka dheere dheere halka halka sa andhera hona shuru ho gaya tha and the wind rising with the coming of the night and with the coming of the night which means the dusk time the wind also started blowing ab now if the wind will blow then again the branches will start moving and it would make the task to get down of the tree more difficult for the boy so at this situation this boy understood that finally he is struck there he is stuck there and he will not be able to get down from the tree on his own at the same time he might also be thinking of the cat he had to keep her safe so here we find children while protecting the cat the boy himself had put himself into trouble his father he shouted for all he was worth his father came nearer what on earth i have got the cat up here but i am stuck hold on ladder he heard oh luck so now luckily while he was shouting who heard his shout were his father so his father heard him shouting and when he saw that the boy was stuck on the branches of the tree he asked what on earth you are doing there and so he told his father that i am here uh, to protect the cat to rescue the cat and now i am unable to get down hold on ladder now when he heard this word ladder he he thought that okay now he might be saved how lovely behind the branches tossing the globes at the pedestrian crossing and the big fluorescent lamps lamps glowed move green on the main road but his father didn't come back didn't come his little fingers were going numb the cat licked them as though to say are you feeling cold i am okay now here when his father returned back uh, went back to get the ladder for the boy so the time was not he was not able to pass on the time it was very difficult for him he saw every changes happening in the environment around him but he couldn't find his father coming with the ladder now with nervousness this boy's little fingers were going numb 
and at the same time we can see that the cat was licking his fingers as if to say now here the cat is a non human thing okay and now licking a finger as if to say are you feeling cold we can say that here personification is used right like the cat it cannot talk it cannot convey the message to humans but here the poet is using the line are you feeling cold it means that the cat wants to ask the boy that whether he was feeling cold because the temperature was getting down because of the coming of the night and at the same time the cat is answering i am okay these all are the imaginations of the boy while he was stuck up there on the tree he wanted to cry he would count 10 first but just as he was ready to burst a torch came and his father and mother and a ladder and the dog and his younger brother up on a big branch stood his father his mother came to the top of the ladder his brother stood on a lower rung the dog sat still and put out its tongue so here while he was about to cry and while he was about to lose his patience he saw a torch and he saw his father and his whole family with ladder so who all came to rescue him his father mother and the dog so on the top of the branch his father was there the top of the ladder his mother on the lower rung his brother and this dog was on the ground and afterwards she was reprimanded reprimanded means scolded who was scolded the cat after that it was easy though the wind blew the parents came down the boy came to from the ladder the lower branch and the upper and all of them went indoors to supper and the tree rocked and the moon sat in the branches like a white cat here the moon sat again personification okay like the white cat means now here the uh, while the moon was coming the illusion was between the branches and the moon it seemed as if the moon was sitting on the branch and he could imagine the white cat sitting over there from one to one the cat was passed and though it and then it was rescued and when the cat was rescued she was scolded as to why she was stuck up there what was the reason that she has to climb up such a big huge tree and after that it was easy though the wind blew why it was easy because he had got the support of his family so all the fear was vanished away and when the and when the cat was rescued they all went inside to had their supper supper means their dinner their food and the tree rocked tree rocked means the tree was moving and the moon sat again the personification is used here in the branches like a white cat so the poem is written by hal summers and a very nice poem a very good description of how sometimes we are so much over emotional with people we are so compassionate that we would like to solve the troubles of others but we forget that it could also happen that we ourselves can stuck in some trouble so here the boy tried to help this cat who was in pain who was in trouble who was in distress right so children we need to make good choices helping others is always good but at the same time we should also be careful for ourselves whether we are helping or whether we are putting ourselves in trouble so i hope children you understood the poem well go through the word meanings again and read the poem thank you so much children god bless you all